Pets Great Buys for May time. Um, yeah, it's, uh, this was kind of a, um, somewhat of an impulse buy. I was, what was I, where was I going? I don't know, I think I was going to, oh, I was going to get my oil changed. And I had decided to go a certain way to, uh, um, basically find one of those 10 minute oil change places and get gas and such. So I went a, 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 a different way than I normally do and it happened to take me by um, a Salvation Army and a Value Village, uh, which I have gone to in the past uh, in these videos. Um, and I hit up the Salvation Army first and I saw a couple of things and I wasn't, I wasn't going to get them. They were only a dollar each. But, you know, I was thinking, ah, you know what, I can't really afford to spend any money. But then, <laughs> then I saw this. This was in the toy section. As far as I can tell, it's complete. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's, um, it's part of, the, it's from Bandai. It's one of those, uh, like, a Gundam kits. And, um, it was only $4, um, which is a steal, um, when it comes to these things, so... Seeing as I was already buying that, I decided to go back and pick up the two things that I had seen previously, which were these two Warcraft books, a dollar each. This is number two and number three, um, both in great condition. And uh, one of the reasons why I wasn't going to, I didn't even know if I had them already or not, but since I was buying stuff already, I was, you know, I, I'm willing to risk a dollar considering they're like yeah they're over ten dollars to purchase new so um so yeah i picked that up and uh, uh proceeded over to the value village which is pretty much next door and um was going through things and uh, happened to come across a, a buddy of mine who um, was training there and uh for for work i didn't know he was there he just sort of you know hey what's going on and i was like what are you doing here um, so that was nice, um, but uh, as I was essentially leaving, I didn't find anything, you know, their books are way overpriced, uh, I generally only buy books there if there's something that I really, really want, um, video games are okay um, if you find something decent, um, but uh, yeah, as I was going uh, towards the exit, I came across a uh, uh, some uh, video games and stuff. They had moved them um, and made room for VHS cassettes, which was odd, but anyways, um, they had moved them to another location um, and I saw something that uh, I had to take a look at. Um, so I pulled it off and checked it and I made sure everything, you know, the discs were all good, um, everything was there, and as far as I can tell it is um, so I now have a copy of Mist 3 for the PC. Um, and the reason why I picked this up is I already own Mist and Riven, the sequel, or Mist 2 if you want, it will. And um, I, I love I love the Mist series. I, 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 it was one of the, you know, a lot of people knock it, but the fact of the matter is the whole CD-ROM um, games and stuff like that, they... They really, like, I mean, just the look of this stuff. It may not seem like much now, but when these came out, this, these graphics were, like, when people were playing stuff like Super Mario Brothers, you know, where you had, like, a few colors and um, stuff, uh, half the time didn't even look like what it was supposed to look like. To see something like this where it was like photorealistic and you could play at the game inside it that was that was blew my mind absolutely blew my mind yes it's it's you know puzzle games and stuff and it you're not actually going through a 3D world it's just you know frame by frame type thing um, but I didn't care uh, I loved it and I still love them I, A I love puzzle games um, they're awesome especially with the PC or new consoles where you can save your your progress and stuff like that uh, but yeah, I had to pick it up uh, for the price. I, I couldn't pass it up. 
Uh, so now I have, uh, I'm guessing, complete. I don't. I think there's only three games. If correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I believe there's only three missed games. Uh, so now I have them all for the the PC at least. Um, and uh, today I was uh, helping out at the Toronto Toy Convention or Toy Fair. I don't know. Uh, but basically it's a toy convention uh, it was the first year for it uh, a guy I know was putting it on and uh, I was going to go anyways uh, to check it out seeing as how it was his first year and stuff and uh, he was looking for volunteers so I said you know what I'm going to be there anyways so do you want some help and I said on one condition you know like I do want to enter your raffles um, I, I want to put in for A the door prize it's $5 entry um got you a, a ballot for a Lego Millennium Falcon. And I was like, I'm, I'm going to put in for that no matter what. Um, the benefit of volunteering there was you got free entry. So I had no benefit of actually working this <laughs> this convention because I paid my $5 to get my ballot into that draw. But they also had some uh, other stuff that was going to charity. So they had uh, prizes and stuff donated um, by various vendors and such and they also had a photo booth um where you know uh, proceeds were going towards the uh, uh to towards charity um some of the prizes there was some a comic book prize there was a ghostbusters prize which had the pke meter toy and a couple of uh, uh ghostbusters action figures there was um a transformers collectible collectible coins and uh a Masterpiece uh, series from Takara Transformers for Ravage and Frenzy, I believe. Um, so I pu I put in for everything, but what I I actually ended up winning one, and what I ended up winning was Call of Duty Black Ops 2, the hardened edition. This big ass box here. So it uh, apparently comes with. Um, soundtrack, uh, limited edition challenge coins, I have no idea what that is, uh, it's in a collectible steel book, um, it's apparently got the exclusive PS3 multiplayer theme and then the zombie thing, I think zombies, what, people were selling the codes for the zombie game for with this, right, so uh, that's pretty cool, um, and then it's got the bonus in-game content of Nuketown Zombies and Nuketown 2025. Um, but yeah, so I put in for the raffle and I ended up winning this, so uh, it wasn't all a loss. Um, I didn't spend any, well, I spent some money, but not on buying anything. Um, even though there were, there was, oh my gosh, if, if you like toys, toy conventions are, are evil. Not only are you going to find stuff, um, that you like, but you're going to want to spend money on it. Lots and lots of money. Um, but yeah, so I managed to come out of it without spending any money. I, truth be told, after winning that video game, I think it's like, it was an $80 value or something. Um, you can probably get, well, I don't even know if you can get them anymore. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, after winning that, I was like, okay, you know what, I don't have to buy anything now. I'm coming away with something out of this, even though there was stuff there I wanted to buy. Um, I, uh managed to hold back. Did manage to have a great uh, conversation with an actual uh, toy company um, that makes uh, toys and action figures and such. Um, and we just shot the shit for like, I don't know, a good 15 minutes or half an hour. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, it's literally the beginning of May and probably going to get more stuff because that's what I do. So, see you soon. This great buy for May is probably the best kind of great buy you can get because um, it was free. Um, as some of you may know, uh, my birthday is in May. Um, and uh, for those of you who do know, I'm still waiting on my gifts. Haven't seen them yet. Um, sure, they're in the mail, right? Yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know, 
Um, yeah, you've got uh, one year to prepare. My birthday is in May, so I expect something next year. Um, but <laughs> uh, all that being said and done, um, I got uh, a couple of gifts and stuff like that. Um, but only one that uh, may interest you. And that is uh, from my sister and brother-in-law. I got 75 crowns, which, if you don't know, um, that's the gift certificate for Games Workshop. So I've got $75 to spend at Games Workshop. Um, not sure what I'm going to get. I could get some more orc stuff, um, but I've got a lot of stuff still to do, so... It's not really something I'm going to spend anytime soon, so if you have any suggestions on how I should spend the $75 and it not being on you, um, <laughs> put a, a comment down in the doobly-doo and uh, let me know. Um, yeah, any suggestions you might have uh, uh, of the armies that could be you know, coming up next. Next one's going to be likely going to be space marines I'll probably finish out a, a space marine army so um, land raiders maybe I don't know I've got a few things for space marines that I can put together and put up a whole bunch of dudes um, could be chaos space marines um, those two will go hand in hand uh, necrons I do have a bunch of necrons that I'm going to do up um, what else I got a whole bunch of Sisters of Battle, um, so I could get uh, something from them, but truth be told, I don't like a lot of their, their I love their, their minis, the Sisters are awesome, but yeah, I'm not too keen on their vehicles, so I don't know, we'll see about that. Um, what else? Tau is one of the armies I really want to do, because I, I, I love Tau, um, but I don't really have anything, I have a few, I have some Tau so far, but not really enough. I could, I could spend it on, say, Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, and get some stuff from that. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe some terrain. Maybe some of the Citadel terrain. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Lots of things I can get. So let me know what you, uh, what you think. Seventy-five dollars is what I got. Um, it can be a little bit more than seventy-five, but not a lot more. Um, so yeah, give me any suggestions down below, and uh, yeah. In all likelihood, this will be my last great buy for May. <laughs>